Okay, so I'm back. So this is a video response and it's to Ebony the Peeling Queen. Um and she was she did a video asking what your thoughts are or do you feel offended by the word nappy? Um and she uses it a lot to describe her hair and to be quite honest, so do I. And I flip-flop. I go between nappy and kinky. And yes, I do know like and I use tightly coiled as well. Um, the thing is, is no, I don't get and when I don't get offended if you use. I don't find the word nappy or even kinky. And I had no idea the background to the word kinky until she explained it, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, growing up, um, I've just. I guess it's because I've embraced the word. I think, though, the only time that word, the word nappy or kinky offends me is, is if somebody is saying it to me about my hair in an offensive way, if they're hurling it at me as an insult. Um, but like when I hear her describe her hair as nappy, I it doesn't bother me because I know she loves her hair. I know she realizes how beautiful and gorgeous and amazing it is, and it's nappy. So is mine, you know. My hair is kinky, and I, and I think also too one of the reasons I always like using the word I tend to use the word kinky more is because I used to find it I didn't know the history behind the word until like watching her video, and I just found it hilarious because I used to always I'm like, kinky always means to me like kinky sex or things like that. So I'm just like. How can your hair be kinky? And so I just actually find it quite funny that you could describe your hair as being kinky. And so I was just like, that's why I was like, yeah, I have really kinky hair. I, I just find that funny. But now I understand like the whole history behind it. So I'm like, probably should be a little bit more careful around that word. But it just, I've used it for so long, I'll probably slip out and still describe my hair like that way. But it doesn't offend me because I, like my hair. I think my hair is beautiful and I love it and while I can admire other textures and other um, curl patterns and whatever and I look and I'm like wow you have beautiful hair, you, you have beautiful hair. I wouldn't trade it because I actually really like my hair and my and so I don't see anything wrong when I say my hair is nappy. I don't use that as an offensive word it's not an offensive word, it's just describing, it's just interchangeable with me for saying my hair is tightly coiled or my hair has, you know, and yeah, and sometimes it's just easier because tightly coiled, I, I don't know, it's, it's just nothing, it's, I guess it's not that serious to me. The only times though it does bother me is when it is being hurled as an insult, as if when somebody is saying, oh, you got nappy hair, and I'm like, why is, what's wrong with that? That's when it bothers me, but it's not so much the word that's bothering me, it's the intention with that person using the word. To hurl that as if saying something about the way my hair is, is wrong, is ugly, is, is that. And that I find offensive, but the person meant it in an offensive way. But the actual, so when somebody uses it to describe their hair and like Ebony and she is somebody who obviously loves her hair and has no issues with it. I'm not offended by it. I'm simply like, she's just describing her hair. You know, it's that's just what it is. Um, I can respect other people who get offended with those words. And I would respect that and not use it to describe their hair. Like if I saw somebody's hair and I was like, oh, their hair's like mine. It's like kinky like mine. I I might not say to them, oh, you have kinky hair. I would say, okay, your hair is tightly coiled because I don't know. They might find that word regardless of what your intention is behind it or whether you don't mean it as an, as an insult. They might just find the actual word offensive. I mean, that's how I feel about the N-word. I find that actual word offensive. I can't use it to describe myself. I'm not comfortable no matter who uses it. I definitely cannot stand when white people or anybody who's not black uses it. I, and that's just the truth. Um, but I'm even uncomfortable when another 
black person uses it casually or when I hear, I'm just not comfortable with that word. I still find that actual word offensive. I have not embraced it. So I can very much respect somebody who's like, you know, I get your whole thing. I understand, you know, you have no problem with nappy or using the word kinky, but I find that word offensive. So don't use it in regards to my hair because that's not my hair. My hair is tightly coiled. And I respect that. And I also describe my hair as tightly coiled too. I like that. I'm glad that that we have that other, that, because that's what it is. I guess my issues when it comes to describing my hair and textures, it, that just doesn't bother me as long, because I like my hair. <laughs> so I like my nappy hair. I like my kinky hair. I like my tightly coiled hair. And it's only somebody coming up to me and hurling it as an insult or using my hair type is insulting or saying that that's a wrong that's when I have a problem and yeah so it's as simple as that um so I hope other people respond to it and what they say but at the same time too you know I have to say I learned a lot just even from that video I had no idea that the word where where we got the word kinky to describe our hair from and it's given me food for thought as well as to my relationship with that word and whether I will continue to use it. So that's my two cents. Bye!